Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today, I will be talking about Season 2, Episode 34, Martha Mason, Movie Star, starring Judith Evelyn as Mabel and Robert M. Hart as Henry. And this is an average episode, in my opinion, but it's also kind of a strange one. It has kind of an odd tone. The episode... Uh, Seems to play mostly for comedy, some of which works, some uh, of it doesn't. But there are also uh, some serious tones to this episode at times. And uh, it's like for every great scene, there's a scene that's not as great. There's some cleverly written plot elements. There's other parts of the plot that seem kind of contrived. And uh, even a few things that don't totally make sense. This episode's kind of a hodgepodge of everything. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's kind of an interesting mess. And uh, I would just say it's average overall. So we start with our main characters, Mabel and Henry, and they're a husband and wife. And they talk, and we learn some things we will uh, need to know later in the episode. We learn that uh, uh, Henry has a garden, which will be important to the plot. He also belongs to a lodge, or so we think at this point, where he hangs out with his buddies. We are also uh, mentioned as a movie star named Martha Mason. Uh, Henry looks at a picture of her. It seems like she's popular. Mabel seems to think she looks like this woman, and she also tries to act like her at times, but Henry doesn't really seem to see the resemblance. So we go to the next scene where Mabel went to the movies. It was a movie with Martha. You could tell she really likes Martha. She's describing parts of the movie, but Henry keeps talking about his garden, especially some new fertilizer he got, which is finally going to make his flowers grow. I guess he's been having some trouble there, but uh, Mabel is really not too interested in this. So uh, Henry and Mabel talk a little bit more as Henry says he's done some new things to the garden to make it grow. And uh, Mabel's still not interested. At this point, this sets her off talking about a divorce because they have nothing in common. But Henry says, no way, he's not that kind of guy. And he's not interested. So this leads to a scene where Mabel uh, hits Henry over the head. I think it is with a hammer and uh, she does him in. This is kind of random and comes out of nowhere, but uh, it kind of fits the tone of the episode, which is all over the place. So I guess it was fine. Then we get this strange scene where Mabel's talking to herself. We get to hear her thoughts. But this is the only time this narration is used in the episode. So I'm not really sure uh, why it's here. But uh, again, you kind of just got to go with it. It's another strange thing about this episode. It was fine, I suppose. So uh, at this point, Mabel needs a story for, you know, covering up what she did, her crime. So she comes up with this letter that Henry left her for another woman. She types it up herself and signs it with his signature. Uh, although I have to say the letter doesn't seem very convincing, at least to me. So Henry's boss, Mr. Abernathy, comes by looking for him. He tries to comfort Mabel, but this really doesn't work, of course, because she's faking the whole thing anyway. Then we get another scene with uh, Mr. Abernathy and Mabel, and they're talking about Henry, and he kind of hints that part of this might be Mabel's fault. She gets really upset and decides she's going to call the police and she wants Henry found and arrested, I think. Now, this made no sense to me at all. Why would Mabel want to involve the police knowing what she did? This was one plot point. Uh, that really didn't work for me at all in this episode. But uh, we need the police to come by to further the episode. So, you know, whatever. So the policeman comes over. And he's pretty sympathetic, I have to say, the officer. He checks the note, the signature, to make sure it's not forged. And he says it's okay. So I guess Mabel's good at forging signatures, apparently. I thought this was kind of strange as well. So then we get our last scene of the episode where Mabel eventually goes to the police station. She's going to fill out some papers, I'm guessing divorce papers. And there's another woman sitting next to her, which will be important in a minute. There's also this guy that's just sleeping, snoring on a bench that really had nothing to do with anything as far as I could tell. I actually laughed at this because I have no idea why this guy was here, but I did think it was funny. So at this point, we learned from this other woman that uh, Henry really did have another woman, which was her. He never really did go to the lodge on uh, these nights. He was always with this lady. So this is how the police knew that... Uh, Henry never left Mabel, and they also decided to dig up the garden because the flowers were growing. So I guess that fertilizer that Henry used really worked, and they found his body. So things probably aren't going to end too good for Mabel. So like I said, this episode's kind of all over the place. Parts of it worked for me, parts of it really didn't. It's kind of a mix of just everything the show's done up to this point, I guess. And overall, I'm going to give Martha Mason, movie star, a two and a half out of five. As far as whether you should watch this episode or not, I would say if you like to watch kind of um, 
kind of an interesting episode. You might want to check it out, but it's definitely not essential in my opinion. So two and a half out of five for Martha Mason, movie star. And as always, thank you very much for watching.